So this game, I've been eyeing this game for a good while, right before it was finally able to come to console. This game is Gundam Evolution. It's based off of the anime Gundam. Now I want to also go ahead and say I haven't seen Gundam. I haven't seen the anime, but I've always kind of wanted to get into it. But I know it's a very long, complex, deep anime, and then there's like a bunch of different parts, right? So I never really myself dived into it. But I, like I said, I've been eyeing this game, and I think this is this game is going to be the catalyst that gets LB to actually watch the anime. And the reason I say that is because a f not, not even a few years ago, but a, a good long couple of years ago, there was a game that came out on PC. It was a hero shooter. Oh, and that's another thing too. This game is a hero shooter. Very akin to that of like Overwatch and Rainbow Six Siege and Apex. Now, yeah, Apex is a battle royale, but it's a hero shooter. LB likes hero shooters. LB likes objective-based gameplay. That's just how I am. Okay, now here's why I say this game might be what gets me the catalyst that gets me into Gundam, the actual anime, because years ago I played a game and it was called Ghost in the Shell Standalone Complex and it was on PC. It was a hero shooter on PC and I enjoyed the, the heck out the game. I enjoyed the game a lot and then I ended up finding out that it was actually based off an anime Ghost in the Shell. I didn't know that. At the time when I played it, I didn't know that, but because I like the game and the world and the music and the character, everything, I like I like everything about the game, right? I ended up getting into the anime and whew, it was great. All right, so I'm I'm feeling like this game might be another similar situation where I end up getting into the anime because of this game. And again, because it's a hero shooter and an objective-based game and I like that's just how I am I like those kind of games so I just really want to just try the game out and, and just see what I think about it also this game runs at 120 FPS on current gen console aka the Xbox Series S and X and the PS5 this runs at 120 FPS So here's the tutorial. We will test your suit's that's like some kind of like, I don't think that's an actual, because this is a hero shooter. I don't think this is actually one of the Gundam that I can use in a game. I think this is just for tutorial. I think. Alright, that'll work for now. Okay. Can I fly while I'm doing this, or am I just gliding? You Did you hear that? So is that the pilot talking, or is that the mech talking? I think that's the, that's the pilot, right? That's the pilot. Tap your thrusters while moving to perform a short dash. dash Ooh, okay. Your gauge, so you Interesting. And you see on the bottom left, there's your thruster gauge. And you can hover while holding the drop button. But you can't dash, or at least this mech can't dash midair. Holding jump even longer allows you to hover in midair, but quickly drains your thrusters. Use hover to cross the gap and reach the target location. Okay. Phase complete. The scaling the wait, is there a FOV? Is there a FOV slider? No FOV? Okay, no FOV. That's gotta come in the future. My sensitivity still feels like it's slow. We'll focus on your mobile suit's combat systems. Follow the on-screen instructions. Every mobile suit has its own weapons, which you will need to master. Some weapons have a multiple firing. Are there headshots? How the weapon behaves. Please demonstrate firing, alternate firing. There's headshots. headshots hang on let me let me turn on some dead zone I do have a little bit of stick drift <laughs> I think that feels better there's recoil too there's recoil too it's like soldier 76 recoil all vertical
That's an impact grenade kind of thing. Okay. Yeah, that's like a that's like an impact grenade. Can I cook it? No. It didn't deal that much damage, but I'm not using it correctly. All right, I don't know the optimal way about using these things yet. I'm telling you, I can see me, I can see me super getting into this game, dude. So when you don't take damage after a short period of time, you automatically regenerate health, kind of like paladins. But like in Overwatch, there's also health packs around the map. So this, so this Gundam can actually throw down a, a hill station, like soldier. Quick ping. Is that the main character from the show? A mobile suit that takes too much damage becomes disabled. Any further damage and it is destroyed. Hmm. So like a knock state. How come he got hurt? When when you're disabled, do you explode like that and deal damage? G maneuver. Okay, that's your ultimate. The pale rider's temporarily increases the suit's performance and damage. I've got you in my sights. <laughs> nice. Hmm. Okay, so the Y ability is impact grenade. A ability is some kind of like slow down grenade, right? And then B is a B is a heal station. R B is jump. L B is trigger or L B is, is speed. Move faster. For your final test, I want you to complete some simulated mission objectives. And I can change those those bindings if I want to, of course. Move to the target location. I like the music. This is the objective. Like gameplay, one of the game modes. Like bomb demolition? Yeah. You can't turn the camera 360. You you're limited to like a fixed a fixed cone when you're Okay. That's that's really important to know that because if you have access to spin the camera around fully 360 while you're planting or disabling or whatever, then like that's incredibly strong. Sometimes it can be too strong. So now I'm planting. And now defend it. Oh, you don't throw that thing far at all. How far do you throw the impact? So you throw the impact really far, but the the other one you don't throw far at all. Let me let me see. Is there? A, I hope there's a firing range. Dude, you don't you don't throw that thing far at all. That's, that's going to be a skill to that. Other missions require teams to capture or defend specific areas. Okay. Capture meter fills while your team controls the area. Once full, the area is captured. Try to capture the area ahead of you. Hear the music? So how does the ultimate work? Ultimate charge work? Does ultimate charge work based on? Is it like Apex where it only charges over time? It doesn't charge via how much damage you deal? Or is it like Overwatch where it does charge from time and how much damage or capturing objectives well done, and things pilot. like that? You're ready for the real it's probably like Overwatches instead of Apexes. You in great things from you. Thank you. That was Pell Rider. So like, so Pell Rider seems like a balanced type of mech. 